things are finally starting to get a little normal. Work it, make it, do it, makes us honor, better, faster, stronger. <laughs> Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another weekly Walmart grocery haul. This is our grocery haul before the big mamma jamma. We have another monthly grocery haul coming up from Walmart and Sam's Club. It's going to be massive because we got all these challenges going on. This grocery haul was bigger than I expected, but it's because the boys are eating like crazy, but things are supposed to be going back to normal because hubby's going back to work, Waylon's going back to school, so it should just be me and Trey here at home, so it shouldn't be as much food getting eaten, but you know how it is. That boy life, that mom life is a struggle. So let me take you down to the counter and show you what we picked up at Walmart. We also ran into Winn-Dixie for a couple of things because Walmart is still out of stock of things since this lockdown has started March 13th, still the same things they are out of stock on. So let me show you what we got. Right, Winn-Dixie and Walmart grocery pickup. Everything that you see here was about a hundred and seventy dollars with Winn-Dixie and Walmart grocery pickup. A little bit more than I wanted to pay because we're doing our monthly haul next week, but it is what it is. I wanted to stock up on some things because some things are still in a shortage here. So let's start off with produce. I got a ton this week. I got these lemons. Look how huge these lemons are, OMG. But I got these to go along with, where is it at, the rosemary. Somebody had put a like Williams and Sonoma knockoff candle, like aroma thing you can do in your house. So I'm going to boil some rosemary with some lemon wedges and there's a couple other things. If I remember it, I'll try to put in the description box for y'all. And it's supposed to make your house smell amazing. So that's what I actually got that for, to do a natural home house smelly good thing. I did get some red grapes instead of the green because they are about $3 a pound cheaper right now. So we opted for red. We got a huge thing of blackberries. I wanted raspberries from Walmart, but they were out and they were subbing blackberries. And you're gonna say I got some from Winn-Dixie, but long story short, I didn't need an abundance of them. But Trey is loving them again. And I didn't get any like I wanted last week because he ate them all and he ate them all super early. So I got a huge win until we can get to Sam's. Great deal over there versus at Walmart. They did give us a little free thing and look what they put in it guys. It's got one of those Coke energy drinks in it. However, it's not the sugar-free one. Y'all are telling me that the sugar-free Coke cherry one is really good. I'm gonna have to find that one and try it, but this one definitely is a no bueno because it's got 40 grams of sugar and carbs, so I definitely won't be consuming that. But it's got a couple other little goodies. It's got a bandana, so like a barbecue summer thing. I, they're really good at doing that, and I appreciate that with the grocery pickup. By the way, if you wanna do the grocery pickup and get $10 off your order, there's always a link down below for your very first order and thank y'all so much for always using that link because it helps us out as well. I did get 18 count of eggs. They're slowly going back down in price. We talked about this a couple weeks ago, but I'm holding out to get them at Sam's because it's a much better deal. Y'all, if you've been watching the grocery hauls for the past couple of months, y'all know I got a little wasted on the Dave's Killer Bread bagels and put them in the freezer, but we're down to our last two or three because they love these for breakfast. So I did get another boom and berry. My Sam's Club still doesn't have them in stock, but Walmart's now getting them in stock so I snagged one of those. This was a substitution. The Canyon Bakehouse bread is the brand that y'all know we always go for because it's the best gluten-free bread that we found that the boys actually like. We wanted the Mountain White. Y'all know we like that one the best but we also like the seven grain one because the size is pretty good and it's still like fluffy if that makes sense for a gluten-free bread. So that was a nice substitution. I've been going with a huge head of romaine lettuce versus the bag because when I cut this up and put this in a container with some paper towels it lasts for almost two weeks plus without wilting. It's been great. A definite money saver. Y'all need to do this instead of getting the bad kind. The bad kind does not last at all. This is definitely the way to go. And then we got some apples, but way more than I wanted. So I wanted just two of the red, but they do these by the weight. They do these by the quantity. I don't even know. But we got four red apples. We got two of the Granny Smith for Waylon and Trey have been loving apples. And the ones that I used to get already pre-sliced up haven't been lasting as long. So I got these because they've been liking these nonetheless, and it's cheaper too. I got some ro uh, Roma tomatoes for slicing up for taco Tuesday night and to go on salads bananas for Waylon he went through the bananas in legit like three days so that's why I said from Vanessa's video if y'all follow lemonade mom she got banana wasted on accident and I was like girl if you live closer I could have used some of those bananas because he flies through bananas for a snack breakfast lunch dinner he loves them avocados they did not do a good job picking these 
just by picking them up guys they are so mushy it's not even funny so I'm kind of disappointed about that because I wanted these throughout the week however I do have some on hand so I will keep those in the fridge and use those later and try to eat these up ASAP because they're ready to eat now so that was not good they usually do a good job about giving me green ones but these oh my gosh they are ready to go now I got a cucumber for salads and for snacking now this was funny we had to wait in the parking lot for about 15 20 minutes and we're like what the heck is going on and she was like oh there was a dilemma we lost your cheese and couldn't find your cheese so we had to go back and slice some I was like oh lord no because that's what we come to Walmart for this is number one for the keto queso for Trey and then we go to unload the groceries y'all and legit there was two so they had it they just didn't see it I guess they were double checking and they didn't find it but it wound up being in the car anyway so that was a score for me so I got a free thing of cheese yay hallelujah praise the Lord that is awesome y'all know we buy this every week and now I don't have to worry about it next week we've already got it for the keto queso so that was a win we got a buy one get one free on the keto queso cheese I needed some daisy sour cream you might be thinking why didn't you just wait and get this at Sam's Club next week the big one like you like they're sold out at my store. I keep checking and putting things in my Sam's Club cart for my monthly order, and there's a lot of things out of stock for weeks there, and that's one of them. And I just opted for the pouch this week because just for convenience with measuring out. Got some more sugar-free whipped heavy cream. Now, this is considered dirty keto for my keto peeps because it does have carrageenan in it, but I don't mind that. It's got sucralose in it as well. It's a better option than the other ones, and me and the boys have been eating this for their waffles in the morning and then for my sweets at night. I got a bunch of meats. I got two of the Natural Choice Hormel Original Thick Cut Uncured Bacon. I'm really loving this bacon, and for the price, you cannot beat it, guys. It's less than $5 for 20 ounces. And at my Sam's Club, there has been some weirdness going on with the bacon. So I wanted to make sure I had bacon on hand because we got the Carnivore Challenge coming up on June 1st. So I'm making sure I have stuff prepared for that versus when I just wait and go to Sam's and realize right when the challenge starts, we don't have anything. So I went ahead and got that. Y'all know that's not gonna go to waste. We can always freeze it if need be. I went ahead and got the Black Label Family Pack of the Microwave Fully Cooked Bacon. I like the microwaved bacon, don't get triggered, for when we make the burger bombs and the things that we wrap in cheese because it crisps up much better and cooks better overall than doing this this takes a longer time and then your cheese melts i know long explanation but if you if you know you know i really wanted the links that you're going to see that i got from winn dixie but i also wanted the patties guys and a lot of y'all have been asking me questions about the turkey sausage so i love the patties when making my mcgriddle these are amazing and we've talked about the macros before it's five and a half grams of fat for two patties and 10 grams of protein zero carb it does have a little bit of sugar at the very bottom of the ingredients list but everything else is so super clean guys this is the way to go you can add your fats by other means like avocado oil mayonnaise and cheese and you know avocado and stuff like that so you don't have to load up on the full fat sausage patties and they're delicious and y'all ask how I cook them the girl cooks them in the microwave we got a little rebel wasted okay so we haven't purchased rebel in a while and we have one pint left we've been enjoying the enlightened but I have got to do a keto kicker test on the enlightened because I think the enlightened kicks me out of ketosis so stay tuned for that that'll be coming eventually because I got another order coming because I do love it but I think it kicks me out where I know rebel does not so my favorite flavor is triple chocolate and the hub's favorite is cookie dough one of his favorite so I got two of those and they're looking pretty sad thawed out right now such a great deal at Walmart less than five dollars cheapest I've ever seen them and glad to see they're back in stock girl why you got this a Duncan Hines keto friendly walnut fudge brownie what the heck is this this was like two dollars and some change it's five net carbs for the entire cup zero added sugars 10 grams of protein the ingredients did not look too terrible they had another flavor and it had maltitol and maltodextrin so i skipped on that obviously but i got this guys for a keto kicker test now it's got 33 total net carbs it is sweetened with allulose, which is pretty awesome instead of another sweetener. So I was intrigued by it, and I thought that would be good to do for a keto kicker test, being that we can find something keto-friendly at Walmart for less than $3 for a sweet versus buying the specialty stuff. This is accessible to everybody, so that'll be coming in the next two weeks, so stay tuned for that. Y'all know Trey loves his waffles every single morning. Two waffles with some Lakanto syrup and some sugar-free whipped topping and some uh, Stoka sprinkles, and he is set. So I got two more 
from Walmart there because they've been hit or miss with those. Waylon is out of his mandarin oranges we got from Sam's Club already. I know, like flying through stuff, guys. So I just got the four pack until we could get there and get that big 24 count from Sam's. I am out of Dijon mustard. Speaking of flying through things, I'm flying through things too. Dijon mustard for me. Love mustard, guys. Put it on everything. It's such an anti-inflammatory agent that you can get without taking a supplement. It's not even funny. So put Dijon and regular mustard on everything. Chia seeds. Why in the heck did you get chia seeds, girl? This huge bag, organic one. So I got these because we got the Mediterranean challenge coming up towards the end of June. And I am going to be trying this week some chia seed pudding to test out and bring as a recipe to you because we can have that as a, re uh, a dessert on the Mediterranean Keto Challenge. So this one kind of surprised me because it's really zero net carbs because it's 10 carb, 10 fiber for two tablespoons. It's just organic chia seeds and you wanna go organic when you do this. So I opted for that. I think it was less than $8 for this huge 32 ounce. So that was pretty good. This was the substitution, the flushable wipes. I wanted the like big huge pack but they didn't have them. All they had was this like little small 48 count. So we went with that until Sam's Club has been out too. Everybody's been out of this kind of stuff. So whatever, it is what it is. They'll tie us over. Toilet paper. Like I used to buy this back in the day. If you've been with me, if you're an OG, you know, these are only like 68 cents for a four pack, but they're like so small. Can't find toilet paper at Sam's Club. Can't find toilet paper anywhere, guys. I was able to snag some of the Members Mark paper towels from Sam's Club and get them shipped to the house because I'm a plus member. So that was a score. I was stalking that website like crazy. But I just got three of these to tide us over until I can find a thing of toilet paper somewhere. We're still short on toilet paper. It is still crazy with some things here. With tax, with the $10 discount, guys, $111. There's the grapes right there from Walmart. I know, crazy, right? So I did go into Winn-Dixie because like I said, they had some out of stock stuff and some substitutions. And what I really was gonna go in there anyway, even if they did not, was their baby back and their St. Louis style ribs this week were on sale for $3.99 a pound. Such a killer deal. And again, that carnivore challenge is coming up, but even if it wasn't, I've been craving some crispy ribs like nobody's business. So I got this huge pack. This is the uh, baby back ones. I got two of each or one of each. So this one was $18.39 for this huge pack and look how pretty those look. I know a lot of y'all are paying an arm and a leg for meat right now and can't find meat, so I feel you. But anytime I can see it and get it for a good price, I am stocking up, guys. And then I got this one. These look beautiful too. These are the St. Louis style ribs and this big pack was $12.89. And again, look how pretty they look. So that's gonna be so good on the grill or even in the oven crisp up in the broiler for a carnivore night. So I've mentioned this before, when dixies the only place I can find the flavored van. So this is the blueberry one, and this is the apple cinnamon one. So I went ahead and got those since we were already in there. They're basically the same price as Walmart's. And I mentioned the links before, these are the same price at when dixie So I got two of the links, cause I like having the links on the side when I'm doing pancakes or something versus the patties. I like to save the patties for my McGriddles. So I got two of those, there's 12 in there. And the macros on these, if you're wondering, it's the same as the patties pretty much but it's one more gram of protein and it's three links and there still is a little trace of sugar in there for ingredients. I did get the diced pears by Del Monte. I mentioned at Winn-Dixie for some reason the Del Monte wins instead of being sweetened with sucralose they are sweetened with stevia leaf extract so you have to watch even the same exact one guys at Walmart but the one at Walmart sweetened with sucralose this one sweetened with stevia so I don't know but I went ahead and got two of those for Trey because he's been missing his pears. I got my raspberries since they were out of stock at Walmart. They were buy one, get one free at Winn-Dixie. So they were $2.50 each. And I went ahead and opted for another blackberry just because, like I said, I didn't get any last week because Trey ate them all up. So I thought that would be good to have on hand. And then the last two things I got were some sugar-free Heinz tomato ketchup. They were out of stock of all sugar-free ketchup at Walmart. And this was def obviously the only option they had at Winn-Dixie. So we went with that. It does have sucralose in it. I like to get the Primal Kitchen one because it is not sweetened with sucralose. It's better, but it is about double the price. So I went ahead and opted for that one. And then in my closed Facebook group, I had a couple of people talking about this high ball energy, sparkling energy water. And this is the wild berry, zero calorie, zero sugar, unsweetened macros. It does have, it says less than one gram of carb, but you can go ahead and round that up to one carb for the whole can. 
And guys, the ingredients are so clean. It doesn't have acylphane potassium in it, and everything in it is organic. Organic caffeine, organic guarana extract, organic ginseng extract. I mean, the list goes on and on with how good it is. Pretty clean, and from everybody in the Facebook group says that it is really tasty. There is the caffeine milligrams because I know that's what y'all are going to want to know the most is like how much caffeine is in there. That's how much caffeine is in one can. And it was pretty reasonably priced too. So if I like it, I might try some of the other flavors or get them. They also had the AHA waters at Winn-Dixie. They have them at my Walmart too. At Winn-Dixie, they sell them by the single can. So if you want to try the flavors before you commit to like a 12 pack, if you have a Winn-Dixie, try them there. But this came from Winn-Dixie. I have not seen this at Walmart. So that's everything we got guys for about a $170. We got lots of meat, lots of bacon, lots of frozen stuff, and lots of produce until we can do our monthly haul at Sam's Club in the next week. So stay tuned for that. All right, y'all. That was my grocery haul this week. Please give it a huge thumbs up if you look forward to these weekly grocery hauls from me. I do have a monthly meal plan video coming to you guys. I know a lot of y'all like watching those monthly meal plan hauls. Don't forget, next week we're going to do a massive Sam's Club and Walmart haul. So make sure all your notifications are clicked down below below so you do not miss that upload from me. If you're new here, thank you so much for stopping by. Make sure that you subscribe. I'd love to have you a part of the family here. We post grocery hauls, meal plans, all the fun stuff, and definitely keep it keto if you're interested in that. Y'all have an amazing day, an awesome night, awesome week. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're staying healthy. Hope you're getting the things that you need because I'm seeing some horror stories when it comes to meat and when it comes to certain things still, and it's been months and months. Is it ever going to end? See y'all next week for a a massive haul y'all take care bye